I was encouraged to apply for the RET program by my assistant principal last year, and I thought it was going to be an exclusively uh, a research experience. The engineering part is totally new for me, um, and I had never soldered before, and I know very little about like electric circuits or any of that. I still, I must admit, was a little intimidated by the level of a science I was expected to come in with. But what it became was a great opportunity to uh, write curriculum that I could use in my classroom. So Doc Shang was really good about allowing us to sort of do the research but at the same time spend more time writing a curriculum that was aligned with the neuroscience. I think one of the brilliant things about the project is because of the CSNE and the RET program and the flexibility of the scheduling, we were allowed to really determine and decide where we wanted our area of focus to be for the summer. I've always been really interested in neurobio. I've always also wanted to add lab experience and research experience to my own repertoire of things that I've done. I'm super excited to be in a lab doing research. I'm really looking forward to figuring out what my research study is going to be and really excited to just carry something out that will be something that I've done in the lab. Something that I really appreciated from Dr. Shane's lab is how immersive they wanted it to be for us. We participate in a spiker box demo today and we really like the idea of trying to get them in somehow into the class because the students really enjoy those sort of activities. They were so warm and welcoming and friendly at helping get us up to speed and knowing where we needed to be and really treating us like professionals that it didn't take anything to just transition into that and, and feel right at home. It's really a cool experience even to be here today and building something and seeing right away that you know you get results and you get this product that you're building and I'm really interested in taking the engineering aspect back to the students to be able to help them design better projects and be able to support them a little bit more in that department. The exposure to the, the resources and the professionals and the, and the academics was huge. Not just the exposure to the lab per se, but mostly to the exposure to the professionals, like to the research students, to Dr. Shane, to Dr. Chudler, to Lise, and uh, to the center itself that has allowed us sort of to make the connections. Those professionals, I think, to me, were the most valuable because that kind of helped guide us from you know, point A to point wherever we